So I just finished my Hotbar animated Gui particles for my game. By the way, you guys should totally watch it, and especially this part. I was pretty ready to create my custom matches for my testing game, um, so that players can like fight each other and beat the crap out of each other and beat the crap out of. Yeah, not gonna lie. Um, I thought it was gonna be pretty easy because I mean, just custom matches, just you know, just click and then people join and stuff. Um, and I thought I could make it in one day. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course it was total BS because um, I went straight to making the UI and I did a bunch of scripting without any plans and it was um, terrible. Like there were so many errors throughout the process and I ended up writing a lot of like unreadable code with a lot of like nesting and a lot of like um, pretty crappy um, variables. It was really frustrating because I had to click the testing button like a lot of times. And you know when you click the testing button, it literally, literally um, you get a bunch of windows with like all the players and all that, but it takes forever. To make it even worse, um, I went on Roblox with my sister, um, testing my game and all that. And uh, I thought I did my VFX perfectly, um, but there was a huge issue. <laughs> Because, um, I, here, it's the video. Yeah, you guys can see it. Bro, it's so laggy. Bro, I actually need to fix the, um, shit, what is it? Like, body, 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 velocity? I don't know. Yo, you're, like, lagging. What the? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, what the? Why is your attack going down? What the? I can't believe it's going down at the ball. What do you mean? There's no ball spot. Look. Ah, no, that's, that's, the, that's the second layer of hair. But yeah, like, as you can see um, from that video, there was so much lag and all of that. Um, but yeah, basically, this video is just going to talk about how I kind of solved all of these issues. Well, actually, no, because I'm really lazy and I'm unmotivated to actually edit my videos. So I guess here's a montage of all the stuff that... I've been working on and also stay tuned for the end because I'm gonna be talking about my announcements from the next video which will actually be on a slash tutorial which will be very um Well, that was quick. Um, I guess I didn't really have anything to show, but uh, basically for my future plan, um, I'll be making uh, a series on slash tutorials uh, where you'll be able to create um, mesh slashes um, using like Blender and a painting program called Ibis Paint, or you can use like Procreate or whatever, as long as you can um, use a software with like airbrush smudging and maybe some like layer modes and some adjustments like poise saturation and distortion or whatever. And then after that, um, I'll be showing you guys how to um, do some coding, uh, including like using like modules that you create yourself and uh, client replication and all of that. And um, yeah, so yeah, just stay tuned for that and because um, I'm, I'm working on it, but it's definitely not close to being finished. There's like still a lot of stuff I have to test out. But anyways, um, I guess subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this. And also turn on notification, you know, usual stuff. And um, yeah. Yes, peace out. Yeah.